Hey guys, welcome back. Actually, we were supposed to do this video last month, but unfortunately, the Arduino board that I was working with malfunctioned, and when I was trying to troubleshoot it, the antenna broke off and I was not able to connect that Arduino board to any Wi Fi network. So, here we are back again with a new Arduino board. In the previous video, Alexa. we created an Alexa controlled door locking system, which was well received and we got a lot of Alexa. positive feedback. So, in this Alexa. video, we will be creating somewhat similar project. Turn on bedroom this project, light. we will be controlling electronic okay. gadgets in our home using your favorite Alexa. assistant, Alexa. Turn off bedroom and light. Before getting started, let me tell you, okay. for the demo purpose, I will be using these LED strips. And of course, you can connect any devices to your circuit and control it using Alexa. You just have to make sure that the voltage input and the operating voltage of the devices match. We'll take a look at that later. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's take a look at the circuit. And here we are in Altium Designer. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create simple PCBs for your hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you will really love it. Altium subscription includes Altium 365, which lets you design, share, and manufacture your projects in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share your designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can download and install free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get a 6-month full license absolutely free. So don't miss out. Okay, the Altium designer environment has loaded and this is where we will be connecting the input voltage. A 7805 regulator is linked to this input voltage. The 7805 can take an input voltage of 7 to 32 volt and regulate it down to a constant 5 volt DC supply. LED serve as an indicator at key spots to make troubleshooting easier. Here, I will be using this Arduino Nano RP2040, the Arduino Nano board with Wi-Fi connectivity for this project. This board's operating voltage is 3.3 volt. So, you have to keep in mind that the maximum voltage that can be sent to Arduino GPIO pins is 3.3 volt. And you have to make sure that you will not be connecting any voltage greater than 3.3 volt to Arduino GPIO as it may damage the board. Here, if you take a closer look, you should be able to see two voltage inputs, right? The Arduino and other onboard components can be powered from one voltage input while the electronic devices connected to the relay can be powered from the other voltage input. The relays are wired to four different GPIO pins of Arduino. In this case, I will be making use of solid state relays or SSRs which is a special kind of relay that doesn't require any sort of mechanical trigger. So basically, these are the main parts of the circuit. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here, you can see routing is on both sides of the board which means it's a dual layer PCB. Basically that's the circuit and this is the designed PCB. Now let's order these PCBs from PCBWay. I ordered my PCBs from PCBWay. PCBWay is a PCB manufacturer specializing in PCB prototyping, low volume production and neat and tidy PCB assembly. To order your PCBs from PCBWay, go to PCBWay website and fill in the basic board details in the instant order form. And in the next screen, you can completely customize your PCB. You can change the thickness, change the solder mask color as well as the silk screen color, materials used and you can customize it in every way possible. Corresponding prices will be updated here in real time. In PCBWay, you can even manufacture your PCBs with TG150-160 for the same prices as that of TG130-140, which means your PCB will be able to operate in high temperature without any damage. In the next screen, you should be able to upload your Gerber file and submit it for a review. Once the review is completed, all that is left to do is add to cart, make the payment and wait for your PCBs to arrive. Once you get all the components and the PCB, it's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. I'll be using Arduino IoT Cloud to code our Arduino board. Once you log into Arduino IoT Cloud, you should be able to see a screen like this. Here, under things, you should be able to see all the projects that you have previously worked on. Here you should be able to see two projects. One is this voice control devices and the other is voice door lock. This is the project that we did in the previous video. Now, let's open this project right here. So when you open this, you should be able to see all the details that are linked to this project. 
Here you should see all the variables, the device that is associated to this project that is Arduino Nano RP2040 and this Wi-Fi network that the board will be connected to when the board is powered up. When you start a new project, there will not be anything in this screen. There will not be any variables, there will not be any associated devices and the Wi-Fi settings will be empty. So in order to create a new variable, simply click on this add button and give this variable a name. Let's name it switch1 and under variable type, you have to make sure that you have selected this Alexa compatible filter and that will give you all the variables that are compatible with Alexa. So scroll down and select this switch. Alright, now click on add variable. That will create a new variable. Since I have created all the four variables, I will be removing this switch. Alright, in order to delete, simply click on this and click on delete. That variable has been deleted. Now, let's start coding. In order to start coding, simply click on this tab right here, sketch. For the time being, I will be removing all these comments so that it will be easy for me to explain it to you. Okay, all the comments have been removed. Now, if you take a look at this code, you should be able to see four functions, right? Here we can see own staircase light scenes and here we can see own study room fan scenes and here own study room light scenes and here own bedroom light scenes. All right. So basically these are the functions that will be run when there is any change in the corresponding variables that is attached to this function. All right. For example, if there is any change in the value of bedroom light that will trigger this function on bedroom light scenes. So if the value of bedroom light is 1 that will turn on digital pin 5 or it will turn off digital pin 5 all right the same the same applies for all the remaining three variables that's how easy it is now our code is ready to be uploaded to the board but now there is a question right how do we change the values of these variables you guessed it right we'll be using alexa to change the value of these variables so let's upload the code and open Alexa app in our phone. Now in the phone, open Alexa app and install and configure Arduino skill for Alexa. Simply add the skill and provide your username and password and login. Now go to all devices and scan for all Alexa compatible devices in the Wi-Fi network. Once you have done that, it will scan the whole network for Alexa devices and if you have done everything till now correctly, you should be able to see 4 new devices. You can simply do the setup and add all the 4 devices. From now on, you should be able to control all these devices using Alexa voice commands. Now let's test it. Ok, our code is uploaded. Now let's open the serial monitor. Simply click on the button right here. Let it load. Okay, now let me resize it. Alright. Alexa. Turn on bedroom light. Okay. Alexa. Turn off bedroom light. Okay. Alexa. Turn on staircase light. Okay. Alexa. Turn on study room light. Okay. Alexa, turn off study room light. Okay. Perfect. Everything is working correctly. Now all we have to do is connect all the devices to the circuit, turn it on and try voice commands to activate it. Alexa, turn on bedroom light. Okay. Alexa, turn off bedroom light. Okay. From now on, you should be able to control all the devices connected to that circuit using simple Alexa voice commands. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask it in the comments down below. And if you like this project, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And for more videos, make sure you subscribe to us and hit the subscribe button right here. So, see you in the next video.